I'll never forget when I first became the deputy chief of police and I was attending a community event and two little girls came up to me and they told me that one of the officers said that I was their boss. And I said, well, yes, I'm that officer's boss. And she said, so you tell him what to do. I said, yes, ma'am, I tell him what to do. And her sister looked at her and she said, well, I go to kindergarten on Monday. I can tell the boys in my class what to do. I said, you definitely can. Now, what I'll tell you is, is I'm not sure how Monday went in class. I don't really know if she caused a, a commotion, but it was very important to me that she had an opportunity to speak directly with me and she recognized that women can be leaders just as they can be followers as well. I went into law enforcement because I feel it was constantly drawing me from the time I was young. And roughly, um, women probably occupy around 13 to 15 percent of officers and law enforcement as a whole. When you look at more than 18,000 law enforcement organizations in the country, that's a small percentage. Early on in my career, I was supported with my career goals. Um, it wasn't until I wanted to promote to lieutenant that it became more difficult to get assistance and mentoring. I think one of the biggest obstacles that women may face uh, climbing the ranks in law enforcement is that we do work in a male-dominated work environment. Uh, because of that, I do believe that there are some individuals that may feel that women aren't fit for law enforcement. I think the public perceives women in law enforcement as it's a job that they shouldn't be doing because they only think of police officers on the street and being in a fight with a suspect. What they don't see is everything that goes on behind the scenes. Well, I do believe that we bring a different skill set and there are situations where we may be able to talk to somebody and use our verbal de-escalation skills without necessarily having to use any of the tools in our tool belt and I think that women are excellent at doing that. Women and men think differently. Uh, women and men by nature act differently. The public does not um, contain one sex. Well, you'll find that some community members are more comfortable dealing with females rather than males. Um, so I would say that both genders play a big role in how we police the communities that are asking us to police. Chief Watson works very hard at highlighting everybody in her department, whether they're sworn or unsworn, in male and female. So I think with her being here, the perception to the public is changing. As a law enforcement leader, it's important to go in and to pay attention not just to what the organization itself is doing, but what organizations across the country are doing. And it is not um, a secret that law enforcement in general is working toward, and they continue to work toward, seeing an increase in women and minorities within their law enforcement organizations. The changes that I've seen for gender equality in this profession um, over my career, uh, when I first started, there weren't many women in uh, leadership roles in the department, and that has changed. Uh, I think we still have some, some room to grow and a ways to go, but it's changing. At a very young age, I knew that I wanted to become a police officer, and because of that, I couldn't even fathom the fact of not be being a police officer now. I, I love this job, I'm passionate about what I do, and I would uh, recommend this career to anybody. Female leaders in the department uh, around the country need to be aware of mentoring other young women into this career. Uh, there has been times where I feel like uh, as women we were almost extra hard on other women in the department because we were really concerned about that acceptance and perception by male members of the department that we had to be exceedingly good. We had to work twice as hard to be considered um, competent and instead of um, holding each other to impossible standards, we just need to mentor and help each other as we move through this career. You do become part of a family, and whether you're man, woman, sworn or unsworn, you are part of a family, we all take care of each other. With the addition of Chief Watson, there's renewed hope, renewed interest in the glass ceiling that I personally felt I had reached is no longer there. So what I would say, is, is that we still have a long way to go. And it is important 
that when myself as, re as well as other chiefs of police across the country take on these roles, that we be the example. And we make sure that young girls across this country understand that we can be in all positions and we can be very successful at it.